Hi, my name is Jackie Lee Price and welcome to Shadowbox. It's Amanda Coulson, everybody. Bloody hell. We've only got the head coach. How are you doing? Yeah, all good, thank you. Excited. <laughs> it's really nice to see you. So, we're here at the Winter Box Cup. I mean, has the participation uh, grown since last year? I mean, it looks like it's been a great success. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, last year was its, uh, its first, and obviously the, uh, the increase in uh, demand. People are here. There was more subscriptions than ever before. We had to, you know, put some people on a waiting list to get here. So, yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant. The numbers have definitely increased, and, and, and it's fantastic to see. In that respect, I mean, OK, for the people that don't know, why have England Boxing had to do this? How, why have they had to put a female-only box cup on? Yeah, well, firstly, we didn't have to. We did it because we wanted to. I think that's the first and foremost thing. Um, female boxing's growing in this country. It's absolutely massive. You know yourself, we've got the Nicola Adams uh, effect on the back of 2012, 2016, numbers increasing, uh, more girls wanting to get involved in the sport. And within the sport, unfortunately, we have a limited amount of girls that match up with weight and age, category and, 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 and experience. So along with that, we have national championships. And then it's like, OK, well, how do we get more girls uh, participating? How do you get them more experience? How do we get them out there so that they're developing and increasing at a good pace? So our events manager, Lindsay Lockie, who's done a fantastic job, put this uh, in the calendar. Women's Winter Box Cup last year in 2018. Huge, huge success. Brought it back 2019 again. Even bigger success. And let's look forward to 2020 as well and where we're going to increase it even more and look to maybe even add an extra day. Um, but it's to get more girls involved, give them an extra opportunity and to keep developing and pushing female boxing in England forward with the inclusion also of allowing some of our international guests to come and take part for the higher end category of the boxers. So it's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, it is. Everybody's really excited about coming here. In terms of uh, other things that uh, England Boxing might be doing to increase the participation, could you talk us through a few sort of things that they're trying to do to bring more females into the sport? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, obviously the clubs are out there uh, engaging with more females without a doubt. Um, we have the profile of all the boxers now getting out there so that people are, are more aware that there is female boxers at all kinds of different levels. We have all the regional squads now for each, each female, um, each regional squad now delivering female only regional squads. Um, I brought a pilot out this year called the Women's Aspire Programme held in Sheffield at the AIS uh, English Institute of Sport where GB Boxing's home is and also the officers of England Boxers and I, I put out for each region to bring in 10 girls, uh, female boxers as well as three coaches and we had 120 girls. Uh, over the course of three sessions throughout the year. Again, just trying to get that retention, um, boost the, the development opportunities and, and overall kind of support, uh, inspire and motivate more females to stay in the sport. So I think England Boxing are doing an amazing, amazing job uh, without a shadow of a doubt. In terms of the, the, the Aspire, um, are those girls actually coming through and competing or are these people that are at the beginning of their boxing careers? Yeah, well, it's twofold, really. So I put it out that the regions had their ownership of who they were going to put forward, whether it was your novice girls, uh, raw, maybe had no bouts, up to your more experienced girls that we're watching here in the elite level. So actually, it was a, it was a diverse group, and, and that was brilliant to see because you had the young ones aspiring to what the older, uh, more experienced girls are doing. And, and you know, that, that, that's going to success breed success. They've got role models, inspirational opportunities there within, within that one environment. So, again, a, a great opportunity. Opportunity. And in terms of um, how's the development going with officials and, and particularly female coaches? I mean, has there been a, a growth in that area? Uh, absolutely, yeah. So I'm, I'm the first uh, national female coach, which is absolutely brilliant. Myself and my colleague Mick uh, run the England programme now. I lead on the development programme, which is great. So to, to have a, a first female coach in that kind of full-time role is, is, again, historical and, and, and kind of pushing the ball out there. Um, we've also just started an initiative in, in Yorkshire as a pilot um, where we've hosted the first ever Level 1 coaching course for females which was well attended. Those girls are now um, having an objective to go out and get another seven to ten girls involved in the sport. So, you know, these little initiatives that we're pushing forward out there, you know, we're going to reap the rewards in the years to come, which, which is great. Because I have heard people say that there is, you know, past level one and two, um, there isn't um, many women at the so sort of on the top tier. There's not many women and there's not many ethnic minorities. Could you tell me, are there any initiatives that England Boxing can are doing or could do to develop that area? Yeah, well, go back five, ten years within boxing in its entirety. 
and here we are today, 10 years on. So, you know, you've got to, put, you've got to start somewhere, is what, what I'm trying to say. And I think England Boxing are doing a great job in identifying that. We need more females within the sport. We need to develop, encourage and support that uh, throughout, from participation to coaching to officiating to the higher level within the, the officers as well and the, the, the administration staff. So, you know, I think England Boxing are doing a great job to promote that and develop it and give the opportunities where, where, where required and actually um, where merited. I think that's the important thing here. And so I know that you uh, are on the development squad having a little look around. So have you noticed anybody that really stands out here for you over the last two days? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I had the, the privileged job of selecting the most promising boxer and best boxer of the junior and youth categories. In the junior one, picked out a girl called Haley Riddle. Um, outstanding performance over the two days, unanimous decisions. Um, definitely one for the future. So she's just won the, the most promising junior award. Um, the most promising youth award we've put out to a girl called Leanne Murphy from Ireland. Absolutely fantastic Southpaw boxer. Won today in a 4-1 decision, yesterday by unanimous decision. She'll be certainly someone that you'll see on the international stage in the near, near future. So identifying that potential, that promise coming forward, I think I think superb, um, without a shadow of a doubt. So there is talent here. At the moment, we've got the elites on. I'm going to take a look there and see who we've got coming through and, and who, of course, is our best as well, which is which is great. I mean, what is great, to be honest, is to see you, um, someone that had been involved in the sport for many years. Um, I've watched you box before. She was starting a boxer, believe you and me. And what was, what is nice is to see that, OK, unfortunately, you weren't able to get on a GB because of what, it didn't exist at the time. But for you to become a top-level coach, um, you must, must inspire a lot of the young girls. Yeah, you know, it's great. I, I was one of these, um, back in the days, kind of uh, 1997 when I first kind of picked up an article, got inspired by two 13-year-old girls, going to be the first to box in Britain. And kind of fast forward on, here I am now. I've gone through an array of uh, 81 contests, had great success, you know, four national titles, three European Union silver medals. I boxed for England. I made it on the GB team, just fell short at 2012 Olympic Games. And kind of retired then and thought you know what my, my instant was without a doubt I'm going to come back as a coach I'm going to give something back to the sport that helped, helped change my life forever and I'm going to help the next generation and if I can do that for all boxers but I have a little extra kind of let's get more females in the sport let's help and guide and support and encourage then I think that's a great thing that we can offer for our for, for our uh, for our boxing without a doubt <laughs> I've really enjoyed watching you develop from becoming a, a, you know, a fantastic boxer and now you're giving back to the sport. It's great as a female to see you being at the helm. Thank you very much for giving us your time uh, and I wish you all the luck in the future. My absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Take care. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber of Shadowbox UK, we'd love to see you. So please go ahead and subscribe now.